years of the Ming Dynasty, the government's powers waned dramatically. The southwestern provinces were overrun by bandits. The populations feared for their lives. With no assistance from the authorities, the people fought the outlaws with whatever means they had. <laughs> village quickly. You must stop the killing before it's too late. Now go. If they don't hurry, there won't be a soul left. about some arm wrestling if you win your match against my friend here <laughs> I might just let you go <laughs>
You animals. Not only do you steal, but you kill people too. Your victims were all innocent. Forget the sermon, thank you. You're only here because you want something. The only thing I want at this moment is to kill you and the rest of your band. <laughs> May the heavens protect you, dragon. <laughs> You all right, Phoenix? <laughs> Phoenix, you have to fight it. Our child? I won't let you die. 
You're going to make it. Should be all right. Phoenix, the baby suffered a shock. You mean its life is in danger? Listen to me. Phoenix, Uncle will do his best to cure you. It's very serious. I'm afraid the baby may have been poisoned. The only way to guarantee your safety is to have it removed as soon as possible. No way! It's my baby! I won't let you do that! Phoenix! Phoenix! Calm down. Uncle, isn't there another way? Phoenix, I wish I was wrong about this, but I'm quite certain. Your life isn't something you should gamble with. Whatever happens, I don't want to kill my baby. I want our child to have a future. I... I'd rather die myself. Uncle. Please, can't you help us? There's a chance, but it means putting both your lives at risk. It's too dangerous. No, the only safe option is to get rid of the baby. It's the only chance. No way! The baby is mine in dragons. You must try to save it. Both of us have been poisoned. We can't have any more children. What's that? You mean, you're poisoned too? Uncle, I'm all right. You must save her life. And our babies too. she keeps the baby, she'll be risking both their lives. The only safe option is to get rid of it, like I said. But you seem to want to take that risk. All right. I'll do my best to save both their lives, but I cannot guarantee you I'll succeed. What do you think their chances of survival are? Well, it's hard to say, to be quite honest. I'll try to maintain Phoenix's energy levels as much as possible. As for the poisoned baby, we can just hope and pray. Bring hot water. You'll be fine. The 
baby's coming. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. It's nearly there. One more push. It's a little boy. I think that Phoenix gave me her jade pennant to give to her child. She gave her life, but I'm afraid the boy has the poison inside him. It's very possible that when he grows up, he may become the kind of man you wouldn't want to be. With the potential to do great evil, the only answer is to find someone kind enough to bring him up and look after him. Maybe that'll suppress his evil instincts, and the worst will be avoided. Uncle, I'm sure if he's raised correctly, he'll be a good man. it any longer. Uncle, even if I die, at least my son will be in good hands. And Phoenix and I will always watch over you. We're not beaten yet, Dragon. I'll do whatever I can to find a cure for the poison. I promise, you hear? Please promise me. Then she'll take care of him. Master! Huh? Who are you? Excuse me, Master. My name is Cho Yu. Well now, Cho Yu, what brings you here in such a hurry? Get up, boy. Please, Master. Master Sorrow ordered me to hurry here. He gave me a powerful medicine that I'm to give to you. Master Sorrow, the abbot of the Thousand Buddha Temple in Wutai? Yes, Master. He told me to give you the medicine right away. It's an elixir to restore the spirit. He said the medicine can prevent a poison from spreading and contaminating the whole body. I run for three days. I've only slept for about six hours, Master. I'm grateful, young man, but the patient's already gone. Buddha bless them. But still, it may be of some use. I'm so glad. I hope so. Dragon. Here, take it. 
Take this medicine, it may help you. Dragon, this elixir is a powerful medicine. It was concocted by Master Sorrow at Wu Tai. It's an elixir designed to restore the spirit, but I have no idea how long it will last. It may give you a few more months, even years. You can use that time to bring up your son here, pass on your knowledge, and teach him the ice heart technique. If he can master that technique, he may conquer the poison. Yes, Uncle. But remember, it won't last forever. <laughs> master? Little monk, thank you. At the temple, our master says that saving someone's life gains us more merit than becoming Buddha himself. Mm. Little monk, when you see Master Sorrow again, you be sure to thank him on my behalf, understand? I would, Master, but I'm not going back to the temple. No, Master told me I have to stay here. Master Sorrow thinks you'll benefit from my guidance. Well, I assume he must have reasons. Hmm. Well, you can stay. Master? Hmm? You're worried about being homesick. <laughs> Come with me. Distance is merely an abstract concept. Righteousness is destined from birth. Walking through life with a smile is perfection. Leaving is the same as arriving. When you were studying at your master's temple, did you ever hear the story about the animals who had to cross the river? We were told many stories, but not that one. There was a forest that was home to many animals. One day a fire started and the animals had to flee. But their escape was barred by a river. The animals searched desperately for a crossing point. Then a huge deer came forward and spanned the river with its four legs. It beckoned the other animals to cross the river over its outstretched body. It remained there bearing the pain as the animals crossed to safety, their tracks leaving red marks on its back until the last rabbit had crossed the river. Exhausted, the deer finally fell into the river and was drowned. That's such a sad story, Master. Do you mean, Master, that I'm like the deer in the story? But I want to grow up to be a Taoist student, Master. I don't want to be a deer. There are still many things you don't understand, right? Mm. You see these candles? Well, if the candles weren't lit, it would be totally dark in here. The candles give out light and warmth, and they keep on doing that until they're completely burned out. So you see, you too are like a candle. So, I'm like the deer and I'm like a candle? What will I become, Master? <laughs> Before you become something, you must learn to forget everything. You must learn to attain the state of emptiness. Emptiness? What's that, Master? What is emptiness? Well, emptiness exists, and sometimes, it doesn't exist. I still don't understand, Master. <laughs> You'll understand in good time, don't you worry.
still don't see why I have to be empty. It doesn't make any sense. Master's waiting in the woods. Thanks a lot. So are you. You're my student now. Yes, Master. You look after my son here. Treat him like your brother. Yes, Master. <laughs> Come on. Master. <laughs> How are you? Are you hurt? Mm -hmm. Nothing broken? No. Listen, <coughs> I've told you. Don't overestimate yourself. Master, it wasn't Brother's fault. I just wasn't concentrating. <coughs> That's right, he wasn't. Dad, why do I have to practice with Junior Brother? After all, you could teach me, couldn't you? No, I couldn't. I told you already. You are both my successors. And therefore, I must stay neutral. Just remember, stay united and you'll prevail. Take the Earth Sword here. Without its twin Sky Sword, it's just a weapon like any other. Master, you never mentioned the Sky Sword before. Yes. This Sky Sword, where is it? For centuries, the two swords have been the treasures of the clan leaders. However, a hundred years ago, a severe dispute took place, which divided the clans. There were battles, and hundreds were killed. Fortunately, our ancestor restored peace to the clans, thanks to his use of the earth and sky swords. Victory went to the righteous. Dad, so our ancestor became supreme leader? That's right. However, the result was that our clan attracted the envy of the other clans. Our clan had lost many men. There was only one thing the leader could do. In order to preserve the peace, and to avoid the worst, he made the decision to separate the two swords. Sir, who owns the Sky Sword now? No one. It's not owned by anybody. He threw it into the sword graveyard. It was safer that way. When everyone heard the news, they went to the graveyard to try and find it. Of course, no one found it. They all perished. But why did the leader separate the swords? It was that or war. He had no option. And now to find the sword, you first have to find the blade stone. Of course, entering the graveyard isn't for the faint-hearted. For that reason, the legend of the Sky Sword gradually faded into history. You are the heirs to the leadership. Therefore, whoever becomes leader must heed the warnings of our ancestors. You must both work together to guard the remaining Earth Sword from evil. Understood? Yes, yes Father. Master. Master. 
Doctor, I wish to offer you this gift. I hope you'll accept it. You're kind, but I cannot accept any gifts. Why don't you keep it? Master, please take me as your student. Who are you, huh? Why should my father accept you? I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to your father. Master, I'll be a good student. I promise I will. Tell me, little girl. What are you doing here at this temple? You should be at home with your parents. Go on home now. They'll be missing you. Master, I want home to be here from now on. You see, you saved my parents once. Saved your parents? When did that happen? What's your name, young master? I'm Dragon. Now go! My name is Grace. I come from Chan Village. From Chan Village? Father told me that a long time ago, the village was attacked by a gang of thieves. If it wasn't for a few brave Dawa students, all the villagers would have been murdered. My parents were saved. When I grew up, my father told me the story. He said we owed everything to the Dawa students. He said I should learn Kung Fu so that I could also defeat evil and uphold justice. Well, I can't really refuse. You may study here. <laughs> Innocence, I'm putting you in charge of her. <laughs> Thank you, Master. Thank you. You still up at this hour? Yes, Uncle. Here, let me. Thank you. I'm fine. Could you do me a favor? Hmm. Uh, <coughs> Dragon. Are you all right? What's wrong? Don't tell me the poison is starting to spread. Let me have a look at you, huh? Why don't you sit up? No, wait. I... I'm fine. There's nothing you can do anyway. I know the elixir is... <laughs> can't last forever. My son, Innocence, is grown up now. Phoenix's wishes have been fulfilled. I can die... in peace. And so what is this favor you wanted me to do for you? Tomorrow is the day of the clan election. And I want to pass the leadership to Cho Yu. Do you think I'm right, Uncle? And what about innocence? It's impossible. He's much too cruel. His personality is unsuitable for the position. I hope you'll realize that it's for his own good. Does Cho Yu know about this? I've not told him yet. The burden will be great. Oh, one thing. Uncle. This note is for my successor. I just hope Cho Yu never needs it. Dragon, it's a leader's pledge handed down for use in times of crisis. Do you fear something?
Anyone else want to be a volunteer? Come on now. I accept, brother. All right. Whenever you're ready. No, wait! be a volunteer. Well, so you want to fight? Fine. need to fight. I've decided. Dad, we haven't finished. I was winning. That's enough. All right, the time has come for my decision. Your attention. Master Dragon, as the leader of our great clan, and after much deliberation, has decided that his successor will be Cho Yu. Wait, my master's a new leader. Dragon. Let him cool. Beloved Phoenix.
Clan's treasures? They should rightfully have been mine. But you, you've always been prejudiced against me. You stupid fool. Do you realize what you're doing? You can't deny it. I'm true. Ha! Now give it to me. Let go. No, it's mine. Do you realize what you are doing? No. Dad. I didn't want to. But you forced me to. <laughs> ah, brother? back safely. Don't worry, Master. If he doesn't listen, give him this. It may help you. Master! Let's go find your brother. Great uncle, I was hoping that I could finish the funeral arrangements. Also, I don't know where innocence went. Master, innocence has taken grace. He's got the clan's sacred manual with him, which can only mean the sword graveyard. There's no other explanation. No doubt he's going there to try to recover the Sky's sword. But he's never going to make it. You have to stop him, Choyu. Yes, but... Don't worry. We can take care of things. Your master will be in good hands. Go quickly now. Bring him back before he reaches the graveyard. Understand? Yes. Don't worry, I'll bring him back.
nearly there. The graveyard. It can't be far. What kind of wasteland is this? Can this be the graveyard? Maybe it's the wrong way. Let's go back, Master. Shut up! I followed the clan's manual. This is it. We'll go around. Find the back way. Listen. Uh -huh. You go to the left. See if you find anything. Right. everything. The sword graveyard. Huh. I made it in. I guess the sky sword. Well, it can't be far.
I'm not dead. It's not real. I can't die. It's just an illusion. All of it. Ah! Illusion. Found the sky sword. Master! Master! Shaoti? What's the matter? What's wrong? Two days ago, Master Innocence, he came back to the temple. He wanted to fight with you, but you weren't there, so he ransacked the temple and he stole the earth sword. The earth sword? That's right. So the abbot sent me to find you. He wants you to come back quickly! Great uncle! I'm back! <coughs> uncle? Cho Yu. I have something that I must tell you that is of the utmost importance. The clan's very survival. Depends on you now. Great uncle? What has Brother Innocence done? It was not Innocent's fault. It was merely fate. Fate decided he should have the Earth and Sky swords. And that you should be clan leader. Joe <sighs> you. I was much too lenient. I shouldn't have let innocence gain so much power. You see, I should have known it was my fault. It wasn't. You couldn't have known that he... he... You don't understand. You don't know the story. <sighs> innocence... is infected with a poison that causes him to act in evil ways. There's no way anyone can help him. Only the jewels of the five elements may save his soul. But first you must learn the code of the leader, which will require a long apprenticeship. And then you'll find the jewels in a tower kept by my brother. When the time comes. Yes, but Uncle, the Master's just died. He didn't teach me the code of the leader. What can I do? Everything's written by destiny. You'll have learned the code. When the time's right, don't worry.
No, no, you can't die. Great uncle, y you have to tell me about the code of the leader. Great uncle. <laughs> Stop there. What do you want? I've come to challenge your leader. Master, why do you want to start a war? Stand back. Yes, Master. Who is he? Who comes to challenge me? What do you want? To show you my ice heart technique. <laughs> Xiao Ji? Hmm? Master! Great Uncle and Master Dragon, take them to the shrine. Yes, Master. Hmm. From now on, you're in charge of this place. What? I'll go into seclusion to study the code of the leader. Go on. Hmm? Go on. Yes, Master. Yes, what would you like to eat? Two noodles. <laughs> 
Coming up. Now that he's mastered it, what's he gonna do? Yeah, that's a good question. What is the code of the leader? I don't know, but it makes him very powerful, they say. <laughs> well, in that case, I'm glad he's with us at the Temple of the Void. Yeah. <laughs> what would you like, gentlemen? Um, three plates of steamed buns and tea all round. And quick. Right away. Hurry up. Yeah, I'm hungry. <laughs> Come on. Go. Master, don't do it. They've done nothing. Be quiet. Stay out of it. No, I'm not staying out of it. You can be number one, yeah. if that's what you want. <laughs> but the Temple of the Void deserves our respect. You're the weakest guy in shadow. Don't up. do it, Master! Loser. <laughs> <laughs> respect? I don't owe them anything. Master, do you think this is the tower? Hmm. This is it. Master Cho, I don't feel too well. I need to take a rest, all right? I'll catch up with you. I won't be too long, don't worry. Hmm. All right, be careful. Hmm. Great uncle. Ah, oh, you're here at last. Uncle, why? Say nothing. See, my brother took care of everything. He left me some important messages to give to you. I have kept them. Here they are. Let me take him. Right. Thank you. <laughs> As for their meaning, you work it out. Everything's out of control. The leader plays a role. A light is held before five stars in a row. What on earth can it all mean? Everything's out of control? The leader plays a role. Of course. The answer must be here. Yes, but where, Master? Where do we start looking for clues? The leader plays a role. This belonged to the clan leaders.
stars in a row. Master, are these the five jewels? Yes. And with these five jewels, we can build a tower containing the five elements and stop the poison. Let's do it. Tower's ready. Master, do you think the tower can really save him? Don't forget, the tower can counteract evil and save people. In any case, we must try everything. Let's hope the jewels can counteract the poison. Master, let me go with you. No. You must stay here and take care of the tower. Remember, no matter what, it mustn't move. The slightest movement, and all will be finished. <sighs> Master! If anything happens to me, you must take over the clan. Oh? Uh? Xiaoji, you must have the powers. No, please. Really, I'm not ready yet. Master! <laughs> If you want to see your master again, then look after the tower. Dragon and tiger, combined into one, justice will triumph over evil. Master, is he here? I don't think he's far. Huh? Oh. Ready? Right!
I'll release your true self. We'll only get out if you and I can cooperate together. Forget it. What I am is your creation. I'm going to make you pay. Brother, you don't have to do it. Forget it, it's too late now! Listen, the Master had a good reason for doing that. It was mine by right. You hear me? Oh, my God. 
Brother, Master said this would happen. He knew you wouldn't listen to reason. That's why he gave me this. It's a note for you. He said you'd understand. Aggression achieves nothing. Life and death are one. He gave me the leadership in order to protect you. He knew it would destroy you. Don't you see? Dad. <laughs> Brother, forgive me. Innocence, your evil self is trapped by the ice heart. We must destroy it quickly to save your soul. Yes, I know that. One thing to do. What is it? Will you hurt? 
my master innocence! Well, I'm going to prove you wrong. 